This is you setting a variable as a fill using the eyedropper tool. Before I show you how to do that, I want to say thanks for another year of watching Figma Bytes. It delights me to hear that I've taught you something. I'd love if you share this channel with somebody you feel would benefit from it. Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. Figma recently updated the eyedropper tool with one small feature that makes it so much more useful. Here are two circles with the same color fill applied to them. Let's draw a new circle and apply the fill to it using the eyedropper tool. With the new shape selected, press the shortcut I to activate the eyedropper. Click on the first circle. This worked as expected and applied the same hex value to the new one. Draw another shape and make sure it's selected. Move over to the fill section of the design panel and click the little colored box. You can also find the eyedropper tool in this color popover. Click the eyedropper icon to activate it. Mouse over the second circle and pay attention to the text in the tooltip. If we hold down shift and then click, the eyedropper will apply the style or variable if the element has one. If you're using a design system that has variables, this is such a time saver. If you've got lots of variables, you could even create a swatch on your page just for applying color variables. That's how you apply variables with the eyedropper tool. I hope this Figma Byte helps you shift to sampling styles with satisfaction. Thanks for watching.